How's it? And welcome to Pigeon 101. Today, we're going to talk about the Portuguese people. Now, before we start, I'd just like to say that if you studying for school, maybe you're teaching kids, or you're doing research for one important project at work, no quote me. I might be wrong. Okay, let's begin. The Portuguese people came to Hawaii with many other races for work in a sugarcane field. But the difference was that all the other races, mostly only the men came. One whole boatload of men from China, from Japan, from the Philippines. But the Portuguese went tell the sugarcane bosses, hey, you like me, you gotta bring my whole family. And those buggers had some big family. And the sugarcane bosses said, shoots. Then the Portuguese people said, plus, we like you build schools for our kids. And the sugarcane owner said, okay. So, as a result, the Portuguese is the first immigrants to Hawaii that had kids that went to school in Hawaii and learned mostly in English. You know, because the sugar cane guys, they're all haulia, and they're like, you know, other people talk their language like that. Now, the Portuguese contribution to Pidgin English is a big one because without their influence, would, would, we would not have the kind one, right? It's like, you know, hey, bro, you get one car. Yeah, I get one car, but no more gas. Or, hey, bro, you let go see one movie. Oh, I would like to see one movie, but I no more money. Okay? Now, the reason for the one is in the Portuguese language, let's say letter. Okay, you mail one letter. It's carta. You don't just say carta. You say una carta, which means one letter. When you translate that to English, remember the kids was going to school, right? Came out one letter. And that's where that came from. Mean, eh? Which brings us to the Paragui joke. Now, Portuguese became Paragui because Pidgin English no like R, the letter R. Like, instead of feather, you say fera. Instead of father, you say fara, okay? And Portuguese became Poragui. But please be warned, plenty Portuguese people no like the word Poragui, and especially no like Poragui jokes, because mostly local humor is based on insight into the culture. That's the difference between local humor and ethnic humor. Ethnic is about how we different, okay? Local knows about who they tease in, right? Okay, example. One Japanese joke, ethnic humor kind, okay? Eh, how come Japanese make good secretary? Because they can check the mail good, eh, right? So the joke is, hey, look, their eyes different than us. Ha ha. Right? They different. Local humor would be like this. Hey, bro, how come Jaws like eat Japanese people? Because in the middle, get one big ume. Now, if you never grow up in Hawaii and you don't know that the Japanese people get musubi and in the middle of the musubi get one ume, that joke is not funny to you. So without insight into the culture, local humor is not funny to people. And that's why sometimes when we tell jokes, it hey, was funny about that, okay? Now, for instance, plenty of people tease Filipinos about eating dogs because, well, they do. But in Hawaii, we tease them about eating the black dog because we know the Filipinos think the black dog is more honor, eh? Which I never understood, because to me, 
taste the same. Now, here is the difference with Poragi jokes. Poragi jokes do not have that insight. They are based on, oh, they bugger low law, and he not understand, he's stupid like that, which is why many Portuguese people no like Portuguese jokes, okay? In other words, here's one Portuguese joke. On Portuguese, like, buy one pizza, right? So the guy tell, hey, bro, what, you let me cut this in six pieces, or you let me cut this in eight? And the Portuguese tell, oh, bro, I cut them in six, I cannot eat eight. Okay, one more. Bada painting lines on the highway, the Portuguese, yeah? First day, the Portuguese paint three miles. Ooh, bro, that's super, that's super good, bro. Second day, he paint two miles. Eh, still not bad, you know? Third day, he only paint one mile. So the boss tell, eh, Portuguese, what, three, two, not one. Bro, what's the problem? The Portuguese tell, eh, what you expect, bro? Every day, the paint can more far away. Now, why would that kind of joke be popular, okay? Now, most cultures have one um, group that they tease, right? But in Hawaii, again, no quote me, I might be wrong, but as one student of comedy, I believe it's because when the Portuguese worked in the plantations, right, and the sugarcane boss went do so much for them that they went make them bosses. Because, you know, the holy guys, they like the Portuguese because they look holy. They look more white than everybody else. And, you know, holies, they like work with other holies. I don't know. They just like that, okay? So the Portuguese was the lunas, the bosses, the up on the horse, they driving around, hey, you do this, you do that. And what do most people do at the job? They tease the boss, okay? He's stupid, he don't know what's going on. So that's how, to me, the Portuguese joke started, okay? Now, I hope this was helpful to you and you can learn one small kind of stuff. So, please, if you enjoyed this video, you know the drill, right? No hog cheese, sharing is caring. Hey, no shame, voila, all in the comment section, and first crack that like button. And, eh, hey, please, subscribe. Mahalo. Still not 100%.